Hello everyone, uh, another video here by the uh, Tokyo Real Estate Man and I'm shooting uh, the video today here in my kitchen because I have, uh, it's a top floor apartment here in Shibuya and it's south facing and I love it. So it's one of the things I love about uh, apartments as opposed to houses for example like there's no obstructions right here so like in the uh, winter months we get such great light and it's great for like there's all kinds of beautiful plants in this house and they do really well and I just r relate actually like what the uh, the positive sunlight must be doing to us just in terms of the vitamin D that we get and, uh, to, you know during a time of this pandemic if you believe in it like uh, I guess vitamin D. Vitamin D is just going to be good for you anyway. Anyhow, there's. I just went down to the mailbox today, and there's a couple of pamphlets right here that I looked at. And by no means, when we look at these pamphlets, or we look, can we know anything really about the real estate market? We can take little snapshots. And uh, as you know, I live in uh, Shibuya, Tokyo. And uh, this pamphlet here, uh, I get it. I don't know how I ended up on uh, the mailing list, but I own a, uh, an apartment in this building called Padosta Abadai, which is just over here on the edge of Meguro Ward and uh, Shibuya Ward. And uh, if you don't know right now, the uh, real estate market in Tokyo is really hot and there's a real lack of supply. And uh, their real estate agents are just looking for... Uh, units in popular neighborhoods to sell so you'll get these kind of things all the time and uh, if you have an apartment over uh, 70 meters in the area you can expect 800,000 US dollars it's saying to you if you have a uh, two-bedroom apartment or larger I guess or below 70 below, below the 70 meter threshold you can expect 550 thousand US dollars and if you have a one bedroom apartment in the neighborhood you can expect three hundred and twenty thousand dollars okay and that's from uh, Sumitomo Fudo-san okay right there or Fudo-san is real estate and uh, yeah that's just a little market uh, shot here uh, snapshot with that one here uh, the next thing uh, I thought we'd look at this is really interesting and uh, this is from an agency uh, called Okuraya and I did buy one, one apartment uh, through them and they are a real old-school Japanese style uh, real estate agency okay they do have a couple of listings here that we could go over quickly this one is in Aoyama which is just over here more in the center of the city but this is obviously the center of the city but just located up here up the hill in Shibuya in Aoyama and it is a 87 or 88 meter unit listed for one uh, 1.8 million US dollars or around there like in yen you'd say Ichioku nanasen man okay which would mean one million seven hundred ninety eight ninety eight thousand dollars for this 87 meter unit right there from Ukraya. And there's another one here in Ikejiri, just over here, Mansion Ikejiri, and it's a 3LDK 70 meter, and it's listed at 600,000. Very good layout. This one's gonna sell for sure. This one's a harder one to sell because it's more expensive, but this one here is 600,000 with a three bedroom in a very good neighborhood. And with the three bedroom, you can imagine a father and a mother in that room, the biggest room right there and a son or a daughter or a, I, what I mean is very approachable for a Tokyo family okay so that's a look at but then what I really found interesting on this one right here the main subject of the video title is that uh, uh, and I talked about it with my wife now what it says you see here is a very uh, very pretty uh, Japanese lady on there and what it's saying is that and it says here 40 basically 41 percent of this agency's agents right now are women and that uh, I talked about before my former dealings with this agency now uh, Japanese uh, real estate agency has a very kind of Yakuza feel to it the old school one that's not dangerous when I say Yakuza it's like it's not dangerous but there is like uh, the uh, like when I had had the dealings with I had bought my agent when I bought that apartment was a young man but behind this young man was these kind of scary dudes man that were like power smoking uh, you could tell they're heavy drinkers you know like like a very kind of Yakuza feel and it can be very intimidating for the Japanese consumer but you can see that just as I had that nice 
young looking, uh, good looking young man as my agent at that point in time. They're looking always for the fresh faces to that become approachable for the customers. And if you watch any of uh, Jordan Peterson's videos and like I do over the years, you learn that uh, like by and large, by and large, females or women in general have more agreeable personalities. So uh, that is why the women are grabbing a larger, uh, becoming more and more important in the sales industry of Japanese real estate, and you're seeing it here. And I was talking to my wife about it, I, and I asked her, does that mean that uh, more women are possibly buying uh, more like single women? Are they buying units? And that's not what she said. She said, uh, that was my interpretation. I was asking her, and my wife, by the way, very Japanese woman, beautiful woman. And then her angle on it and what I love about my wife is she gives me the real Japanese angle on things which is uh, what I coming back to my point about Jordan Peterson uh, that when they have a much more agreeable uh, like a salesperson and, and much more approachable to people uh, when it's like this and they don't they're you know maybe a older woman for example might not want to talk to like an old school Yakuza type of real estate Asian and uh, the front face of the uh, real estate business in Japan is becoming, women are becoming more and more important. But don't interpret it like I do have a Vancouver uh, unit and don't interpret it that like it's that style of like I interpret it like this in Canada. Like sometimes I find the female uh, agencies in Canada tend to turn up the sex button. Uh, that's not what this is. No, it's you, you'd you see it much, the agent would be presented much like this, like a... Uh, uh, a, a, like a professional suit wearing what I wouldn't say that sexual buttons would be turned up like I is my experience in Canada or anything like that and you know they're becoming more and more important as the face of the agency and if you I was talking to my wife about it too like if you see like most of the uh, the uh, salespeople that work in the insurance industry right now are dominated by women and that is a, a, a trend obviously companies are finding they want to uh, have the most effective sales policies, uh, not just policies, but personnel to uh, do what they have to do. And you're finding it right there. So like in the uh, female, or females are becoming more and more important in the uh, real estate world here in Tokyo. And this here on the bottom, it's just like, there's lots of information, these kind of pamphlets right there. It, uh, like you can, it, it's saying that there's different kind of plans they can do. This is a regular plan. Uh, sales plan like a, or if you want to sell your unit uh, this is uh, I didn't look at it exactly but it was Chokusetsukai 40 plan it's a different plan and then here's a, like a lease back plan so if you sell your apartment you actually can propose to lease it as well so yeah that's just a little snapshot of uh, what's happening here in the Tokyo real estate uh, market the central Tokyo market and as I said it's pretty well on fire and there is a lack of Supply. I think this one would be scooped up. Great location. Okay. Thank you. Another video here by the Tokyo Real Estate Man from my kitchen. Signing out. Thank you again from Shiba.